The mayor's chief of staff was granted a temporary restraining order against city council members today, buying him time as the council's smart city investigation rolls on. Well, the investigation is looking into allegations of, of contract fees fixing and recently asking the mayor's office to hand over a huge number of documents to council. Devin Bartolotta is live for us from city court, which just let out Devin just a couple of moments ago. Yeah, Katie and Sharice, this ruling essentially freezes City Council's plans to hold Clifton Davis III in contempt at a meeting next week for not turning over those documents. And as the judge said in court today, it will, quote, preserve the status quo until a full hearing on the issue next week can be conducted. But council members believe that this just delays the inevitable. Now, right now, the City Council and the Office of the Inspector General are conducting investigations into the Smart Cities program amid suspicions the Congress contract was awarded unethically. Now, early last month, City Council subpoenaed the mayor's office asking for any and all documents or conversations relating to the Smart Cities program and its vendors associated with it. But so far, the mayor's office has refused to turn those documents over to City Council, saying the request is repetitive and burdensome because the mayor's office has already given those documents to the inspector general's office. Now, the OIG took staffers' cell phones and computers sometime over the last two weeks. But City City Council's attorney argued that the mayor's chief of staff was not named in the OIG's investigation. They say all the records requested are non-confidential public records and they should be produced if there is nothing to hide. Now, Davis may still have to turn those documents over, but again, he cannot be held in contempt until after that June 8th hearing. We'll be staying with the story and we will hear from council members coming up tonight at 10. Reporting live in New Orleans, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. All right, Devin, thank you so much. We'll have more on that back and forth between the mayor's office and city council later. Catch our full report tonight at 10. You can also look for updates on WWLTV.com and our social media pages.